Now, right, I'm back. We got, we got ourselves some bourbon this evening, some weeded bourbon. Um, <clears throat> this was a gift from good old Riley at uh, First Line Shave. We're going to be reviewing the new Black Mountain Shaving in collaboration with First Line Shaving. This is the Flanker to Sutton, and this one is Sutton Distilled. So, beautiful label right there. You can kind of see the copper kettle in the back, the uh, diagram of the still and whatnot in front. Very nice label. Kind of got like a top-down view here, I'm guessing. Very, very good looking stuff. Um, classic, good side label, as expected. Handmade in St. Louis. Black Mountain Shaving out of uh, North Carolina. Sutton Distilled. Four ounces, that's in the... FLS 3.0 soap base and it also has some directions on how to lather down in the bottom We got the soap right here. You can see where I scooped into a bowl bowl lather gang right here This stuff smells fucking nice um, We'll get into it more in just a second <clears throat> Just real quick It's a rather Soft soap um so it's kind of like in that, you know, soft soap, crope type territory. Just for those that are interested, we got $23, four ounces, tallow base. Let's get into the shaverage for today, the drink of the day. We'll give it a little SJ, a little swirl job, um, like ADHD Whiskey says. I don't know if you guys watched his channel. He gives a little SJ before he swings, uh, before he gives it a little swig. Alright, so this one, <clears throat> I'm definitely getting like, um, like a chocolate cherry type vibe. That is pretty prominent. I feel like there's something else in there. Some spices, perhaps. Let's go ahead and give it a swig. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Larceny Barrel Proof, uh, batch C921. It's a Heaven Hill weeded bourbon. Age six to eight years, coming in at 122.6 proof. Tasting notes, roasted nuts, dark chocolate, bean cherries, red apples, maple syrup, clove, amongst other things. <clears throat> so, I definitely got the nuttiness um, up front. Again, I was hit with that kind of like chocolate covered cherry. <clears throat> Not 100% sure if it's dark chocolate, but... Kind of chocolate covered cherry. And then probably the clove spices um, along with more roasted nuts like on the on the finish. Pretty good. I didn't really pick up the red apple. Perhaps um, perhaps that just, you know, blended in somewhere. Gotta remember to breathe when you're drinking. Yeah, that's good stuff. I really appreciate it, Riley. Let's get into this shave. And just look at that aftershave bottle. That is a thing of beauty. We got a copper colored um, bottle here. Very nice, shiny copper, just like the copper stills that they would make like bourbon whiskey in. We got copper wax dipped around the seal and then Sort of like some whiskeys, we got the little tab where you can uh, unscrew, give it a little, give it a little pressure there, and you just kind of unscrew it, just as you would a bourbon, and it is on there nicely. But there we go. Let me kind of see if I can clean that up a bit. So just like that, 
and then industry standard restrictor underneath. That is fucking cool. I like that. I see that a lot on my uh, bourbon barrel aged stouts in the beer world. I like that a lot. All right, let's get into this shave. Let's get some warm water on the face. And let's get some lather going. So, scent notes on Sutton Distilled are whiskey, cedar, oud, lavender, saffron, cardamom, blood orange, ambroxan, patchouli, and cypriol. I don't know about that last one. Um, the brush we're using for today is this kind of uh, copper and black the crazy badger uh, brush no longer turning these days but the crazy badger was one of my first customs in my collection and I still got it because I think it's a good-looking brush there's a no name no hype badger knot on top here I believe it's just kind of like a best badger or something like that it's a nice little bulb knot it's you know broken in from years and years and years of use <clears throat> soft a uh, little bit of gentle scrub not quite pillowy soft or jelly but definitely just a gentle scrub really feels nice oh man and the scent on this one is bold and banging and I love it so I was a big fan of Sutton the original release um, Sutton to me was uh, one of my favorite scents. I think it came out uh, last year, perhaps early last year. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, Sutton was probably one of my favorite scents of last year. Really good scent. And I think Sutton Distilled really just kind of takes the baton and um, takes it just a little bit more in a... Uh, a more boozy masculine direction and I think uh, Joe Black Mountain shaving really good job beautiful looking lather here easy to whip up we got our chic new improved type F injector razor right here this beauty is one of the rare ones out there in the vintage world uh, only made for I think one or two years um, really really handsome uh, very interesting design on this razor we got a uh, Schick Proline B20 blade I always look at the shape of it so Schick Proline B20 blade let's get into it and I probably got like three four days worth of growth it has been a busy couple of days, man. I'll make sure I get that beard line right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely no problems performance-wise. I've used uh, First Line Shave. I've used their FLS 3.0 base many, many times. I'm familiar with it. big fan of the brand now I should say before I go any further this was sent to me for free by first line shave the soap splash and a little sample of larceny very much appreciated that being said, if I didn't like it, I'd say I wouldn't like it. Um, I think most artisans that are familiar with me and familiar with my channel are aware of this. It doesn't need to be said. It goes without saying. But Joe and Riley are stand-up dudes. There was no persuasion they actually didn't even ask me to do a review of it. So there was no obligation 
you know, to do videos, post pictures on social media, or even mention the gift. There was no obligation whatsoever. But obviously, new gear is new content for my channel, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. And also, in transparency, I like those guys. I like Riley. I think he's been a killer artisan straight out of the gate up, up until now. And I feel the same exact way about Black Mountain Shaving. I am a huge fan of probably 90% of everything I've smelled of his. Great nose, great blender. You know, Black Mountain Shaving does good shit. So, enough of that. Enough of the blowing smoke up people's asses. Let's lather up again for pass two. Talk a little bit more about the scent. The scent on this one. You get that whiskey, that, that bourbon, just spirits. You get the, the zing, that twang, that like, the nose, the nose on uh, a pour of uh, whiskey. It has that that tingle in your nostrils. Sutton distills, Sutton distilled manages to capture that that twang, that that tingle. It um, you know any any bourbon or whiskey or sp really you know spirit. You know I don't know if it's characteristic of having a high proof um I, I don't really know where it comes from but it's definitely characteristic of of uh, spirits and so it captures that that twang that that little zing on the nose of a fine spirit beneath that we got the cedar the oud uh, it's definitely a warm base. Obviously, you know, the whiskey note is also quite warm. I I should have looked up before I uh, before I did this review. I should have looked up that, uh, let's see if I can find it, that Cipriol. I wonder if that is the, like, the fragrance that gives it that twang, because I'm completely unfamiliar with it. And a lot of times, other artisans or other fragrance um, people, when they say bourbon, whiskey, whatever, what have you, it's almost like a like a vanilla slash oak accord. This this actually captures the boozy uh, aspect. <clears throat> I suppose the. Uh, the cardamom and lavender probably add a little bit of a uh, spice to this one. Um, blood orange might, you know, might give it a little bit of bitterness, and then ambroxan sweetness. Yeah, it it's a it's a killer scent. Like, for being a flanker of one of the best scents of uh, last year. He definitely didn't take his foot off the gas. Now, Riley, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Riley said, uh, I, uh, he's like, he, you know, basically called himself stupid for doing a, uh, a boozy release during dry January. I got a good laugh out of that. But on the other hand, this might be one way for people to, you know, explore their cravings without breaking down and ruining their dry January. So, you know, on the other hand, just having a uh, whiskey scented soap to kind of help them quell their cravings. 
that might suffice as well. Either way, come February, <laughs> I'd be all over this. Wonderful sand. No problems with the uh, performance. Slickness is just ridiculous, you know. The... What I like in all of my favorite soaps is the luxurious density that they have. And uh, the FLS 3.0 is no different. It, it has that luxurious density. I'm not one of those guys that's like a uh, believer in protection from the lather. But if you were, that density, <laughs> that density would probably do it for you. I just think the density of a lather gives me a more luxurious experience. And I'm always grateful for that. There we have it. I think we just busted out a pretty cruise control, uh, just smooth, effortless shave. <clears throat> I love that razor. Big fan of Schick injectors. Vintage Schick injectors. Love the FLS 3.0 base. As a matter of fact, first line in collaboration with uh, Strike Gold. If you saw my uh, best sense of 2022 list, you would have saw that first line and in collaboration with Strike Gold. They won my number one spot. And I see first line shaves, like I said before. Not taking their foot off the gas. Same goes for Black Mountain Shaving. They were on the list. They were on the list as well. Um, Black Mountain Shaving also makes some of my favorite scents. They were also on the list. I can't remember what uh, what number on the list, but um, those two, they are just, you know, Foot on the gas. Oh yeah. Lancaster black sheep towel. Very luxurious, very plush. Great way to uh, wipe down after a shave. Can't wait to dip into that aftershave and see how it compares to the soap. One thing I love about the scent is although it captures that whiskey, there's so much going on that it, I hate it when people get a boozy scent and they'll they'll say that makes you smell like a drunk i want to smell like an alcoholic <sighs> get the fuck out of here with that shit boozy scents or booze inspired scents never make you smell like an alcoholic they they're you know eloquently done it it's sure it's a masculine accord sometimes but there's a lot of thought that goes into this to make these true um, like genius expressions of boozy accords and you know like men's cologne it it really smells great like don't don't give those guys any mind all right let's give it a shake oh, that wax top is just so fucking cool industry standard Quality restrictor. 
a nice little handful of splash. Give it a little swirl. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I think I got a burst of that cardamom as it escaped. And that just smelled awesome alongside the whiskey. Oh, yeah. It actually... I think it actually has more sweetness, perhaps, in the aftershave. Oh, man. If the EDP smells anything like that aftershave, the soap was banging, but that splash, <laughs> that splash is on is taking it up another level. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you. If you're looking forward to this one, I think it comes out Thursday, which would be, so today's Monday, the 9th. So I think it's Thursday the 12th. God, I hope I get this right. I'm just going off memory. And then I think it's like, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So if not, just reference IG, Facebook, uh, firstlineshave.com, Black Mountain Shaving, you know, Google the damn thing. And I'll try to link it in the description as well, or to put it in the description of this video. So anyhow, I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more good shit. Cheers.